the money that's, that's proposed in this bond referendum uh, represents a direct investment in the facilities that are required to help us serve the community. And they're, they're expensive, but they are a wise investment that lasts a long time. There's two approaches to the station projects that are on here. One is a complete rebuild and the other are renovations. The stations that were, that were focused on rebuilding on this proposal um, were evaluated and, and determined because of the age and the condition of the building were such that a, a, a renovation wouldn't, wouldn't do what needs to be done. And, and you get to a point where it's just better to, to knock it down and rebuild it. When you choose to knock it down and rebuild it, we also want to consider if that station, with the growth of the department as a whole, is still in the right place. And so with, uh, with those stations, we also look at the potential to relocate them if that's necessary. The renovations are, are more for our stations that are in the 25 to 30 years old. Um, and it, we joke about them being our teenage stations because it's 14, 15, 16, and 17, stations 14, 15, 16, and 17, that we're looking at for these renovations. East Landing and Leesfield Parkway, Station 22 District, time out, 1420. When you look at the requirement that our firefighters live, eat, sleep in these fire stations, and the more evidence that we get around the carcinogens that, that are just part of our role, right? And we bring that, we track it in on our shoes, we wear it in on our turnout gear. There are different measures that we can take and we can put in place in some of these older fire stations that will increase the margin of safety for the providers. Look down. Look here. When we look at uh, firefighters as industrial athletes, there are studies out there that talk about the, the going from zero to 100, you know, wearing self-contained breathing apparatus or 75 pounds worth of equipment or dragging someone out of a building or dragging a hose line into it. Uh, there's an incredible amount of, of exertion and uh, when a lot of these stations were built, that wasn't taken into consideration, the level of fitness that was required to do this kind of work. The prevalence of those emergencies weren't, you know, wasn't what it is now. We also look at uh, sleep, right? And so when we look at uh, some of the privacy or quiet uh, areas in the station, we want to wake up the people that are required to go on the call, but we want to leave the others asleep so that they can recover from whatever their last run was, right? And so uh, we're really focusing on some of those things to help these fire stations last and be effective for the next 25 to 30 years. You know, we really try and take care of the people who take care of our community. and. You know, the workforce, the, the members who serve this community, they feel that, they sense that. They know when the community is willing to invest in their, their tools, right, their tools and facilities. And so $18 million of this referendum is focused on developing a realistic training environment for both fire and police to use uh, all of our public safety teams. You know, we're talking about a facility that, uh, that has all the props and tools that they're gonna encounter, that our firefighters are gonna, and police officers are gonna encounter when they go out and respond at elevators and sprinkler systems and alarm systems and urban mixed use environment or four story townhomes or garden style apartments with multiple different floor plans that we're gonna ask our fire and EMS professionals and our police professionals to navigate during the course of their business. So the more familiarity that we can give them with those, with those environments, the better we're going to prepare them to take care of the community. If the bonds don't pass, we're, we're Henrico County, right? We'll figure it out. If the bonds do pass, it really strengthens our position to train our firefighters more completely to uh, protect the workforce that goes out and protects the community. All those things are, are part of these questions and, um, and are impacted by the community's feedback.